What's up guys, my name is Nathan Ng and I hope you're having a great day. We're back with another 10 minutes dedicated to help you guys improve at CSGO. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most important aspects of the game and is how to improve your mechanics and your game sets in the most efficient manner possible. This will range all the way from practicing each aspect of your game to making sure that you're as consistent as you can be each and every match. By the end of this video, you'll be having the tools that you'll need to improve and reach your potential. But today, before we all get down to the nitty gritty of improving, it's time for our question of the day. And today's question is going to be as old as Counter-Strike itself. Do you favor the op or the assault rifles? For me personally, I love the AWP and I find that I am much more consistent on it than when I use the M4 or the AK. But tell me your thoughts on it and let us know in the comments down below which one you prefer to use and why. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop into the video. Kicking us off with a bang, let's go ahead and talk about the most obvious one, practice. Regular practice is undoubtedly the most important aspect that you need to improve at CSGO. And I guess, well, anything. This means a whole lot of things, but first and foremost, you've got to make sure that you're honing every single part of the game. Ranging all the way from the fundamentals like crosshair placement, flicking, and strafing to the more advanced aspects like grenade lineups and timings. Training every feature of the game is the best way to become an elite player as you form yourself into somebody with zero endgame weaknesses. Don't worry though because we're about to break it down for you guys and tell you the best way to practice each, starting off with the raw aiming ability. As any silver one could tell you, aiming is the most important part of the game, yet people of all skill levels will often overlook all the different nuances of aiming. There are two different types of aiming and these are tracking aim and flicking aim. Tracking aim consists of keeping your crosshair in the same place as you move the player model around, whereas flicking aim is about snapping your crosshair to a target somewhere else on the screen. Whether one is more important than the other, however, you want to try and rely on your tracking aim more than your flicking aim. This is due to the simple fact that your tracking aim will always be more consistent than your flicking aim will be, simply due to the nature of the different types of aiming. Luckily for you though, you can improve both types in one complete package of training, this being deathmatch, deathmatch, and well, deathmatch. Also on a quick side note, make sure that your aiming sensitivity isn't too high or too low. Go for about an 800 DPI and a sensitivity about 1 as a baseline, and then customize it accordingly from there. But back to the matter at hand, aim practice. Like I said, deathmatches are by far one of the best ways to practice aiming, as you train your aim against real targets in quick succession. However, make sure to mix in some practice maps as well to get that extra edge in aiming over your opponents. You can use some maps such as aimbots. Now, the next mechanic that needs regular training is your recoil control. We've gone over this in previous videos and we kind of talk about it a lot, so I'll just give you guys the quick version. The best way to practice is on the workshop map Recoil Master, but you need to make sure that you're mixing it up and practicing your spray on both real life targets and bots on the workshop maps. The penultimate mechanical detail that needs to be proper, pristine practice is probably the most overlooked of them all, your movement mechanics. There's one fantastic and effective way you can practice movement and this is being KZ maps. Just go on the community server, browse and type KZ into the map section and join any server and you'll see you and find one of these maps. For those of you guys who don't know, KZ is a similar game mode to B-Hopping, but in KZ you have no speed modifiers, it's just the vanilla movement. It's based around the more skillful jumps that can be punishably difficult at first, but with little practice you can start flying through these courses. The skills that you'll be picking up in just 15 minutes of KZ are easily transferable to the base game as they grant you a better understanding of both your player model and how it moves. But ultimately, it teaches you how the movement system works in CSGO. Great movement is the hallmark of all the best CSGO pros and is something that you can easily pick up. Learning movement also includes things such as strafing and counter strafing, which are two more incredibly valuable skills to pick up, as they'll help you make those difficult jumps in game. Lastly, let's think about how you can practice map knowledge. This stretches to things such as grenade lineups to which spots to check. There are also two great resources to help you out with both. The first one is the internet, which we'll talk about later in this video. The second one, however, is the Steam Community Workshop. Workshop maps such as the YPRAC series of maps are fantastic tools to help you guys improve as they cover everything that you could need to know about each map, with the pre-fire mode being especially helpful. With each of these types of practice, you want to form a regular practice routine. This will eliminate any and all of your inconsistency in your playing, something that we'll go over more in a bit. Follow this advice on practice and you'll see the results in no time as you begin to practice much more efficiently, maximizing how much growth you get out of your valuable time. Now let's go ahead to the next part of the list, and that is the internet. As we touched on briefly already, the internet is a great tool to help you guys improve at CSGO. Whether that's helping you learn new tips and tricks or the video essays about the game's history, the internet is the best comprehensive guide to help you guys find and improve on CSGO. You just need to find out how to sort through it a bit. The internet is more geared towards helping you improve your game sense and understanding of the game rather than improving your mechanics. However, don't think for a moment that these aspects aren't just as important as your aim. One of the best things that you could do to help in CSGO is to watch some live pro games on Twitch every now and then. This definitely has the added benefit of being enjoyable as well, and just not another grind. 
But seriously, watching pro games is a great way to learn a few neat little tricks that you can use in-game, especially when it's a big match and the big guns are being brought out by each side, literally. Secondly, watch some non-live CS. By this, we mean the hours and hours of informational content that you can find on CS, such as in-depth smoke tutorials, demo reviews, and tip videos, and, well, pro guide videos. And if you want to find out where all that information is stored, we have a ton of those videos on Pro Guides, which we regularly upload informational content on CS as well as some other games. Finally, there are a few great websites that you can use to improve, and I highly recommend a regular browse through on the CSGO subreddit. Here, you'll find user-generated tips that get refreshed by the hour. The second site I recommend highly is leadify.com, L-E-E-T-I-F-Y dot com. This will give you an in-depth look at your statistics in the game, helping you figure out your strengths and weaknesses. And when you find these out, you can work on them accordingly. Best of all, however, is our own ProGuides.com. They don't even pay me to say that, really. Here, you'll find tons of info on the game and get the opportunity to get your own coaching session from all the elite CSGO players, as well as get the one and only simple CSGO Masterclass. Try to use the internet to read and watch as much as you can about the game, as there are some great minds regularly posting all over it. To really improve at CS, you really need to do more than just play it. First of all, let's go ahead and talk about consistency. This is, without a doubt, one of the top 5 most asked questions we see in the comments of our videos, and with good reason. Inconsistency is something that haunts a huge amount of players, including some of your favorite pros. Being totally consistent in-game is something that we all strive for, and is easily one of the most difficult things to achieve. Hopefully, in this next session, you'll be able to see the path of which you need to personally take to become a more consistent player. For the first part of this, I want you to pause the video and ask yourself this question. Are you consistent out of the game? Do you go to bed and wake up at roughly the same time of each day? Do you eat properly each day? Do you play CSGO at similar times each day? Chances are that if you're inconsistent in-game, you'll be inconsistent out of the game as well. Tackling a few of these unpredictables out of the game can drastically improve how dependable and consistent you are in-game. Make sure that you have healthy habits, and this is without the easiest and quickest way that you can achieve a greater level of consistency in your fragging ability. Of course, it's not just your out-of-the-game mannerisms that affect you in-game. As we touched upon earlier in the video, a good planned practice routine plays dividends in your playing ability. But that's not the only thing that can create more consistency out of the actual game itself. I know practicing may not always be fun, but honestly, when it comes to CS, you could try having fun with it. A lot of the fun with CS is playing with people that you know, and playing with the same person regularly can help you improve dramatically. And even better than that is playing with the same multiple people. This creates a consistent team atmosphere for you to play in and will definitely help you improve. Of course though, 5-man queuing will never be a permanent option. So we also have a few tricks that you can use to help you with consistency when you got solo queue in mind. Make sure that you always play the same positions on each map, being consistently friendly to your teammates, and warming up the same way before each game. All of these serve the same ultimate purpose, and that is to build a healthy routine in how you play CSGO. Now, if you start making these changes and you don't see any instant changes, don't be alarmed. Consistency is something that takes time to improve, but if you follow this advice, you'll be putting up consistent numbers that you never thought you'd be able to get. Finally, we are going to be concluding with a bit of guidance to help you guys improve your mechanics and game sense, and that is to make sure that you're ready to play mentally. The general theories on how to improve at sports doesn't really apply to CS completely for one simple reason. CS is entirely dependent on your brain to play. If you're tired, dehydrated, hungry, or just plain in a bad mood, your CSGO performance will drastically take a hit. Here are some things that people seem to forget. CSGO is a game and it's meant to be for enjoyment. If you aren't looking forward to a competitive match or you really aren't enjoying the game itself, then well, maybe you should do something else for the day. Your brain thrives on performing whilst you're having fun, and the opposite is also true. You don't play well if you aren't enjoying it. I get it, some games may be extremely tilting and can definitely affect your mood. If this ever happens, just take a break, watch some Netflix, or some other pro guide videos, or just go on the websites that we mentioned earlier. If you get into this mindset in the middle of the game, simply finish the game and call it a day. There's no point in building up a losing streak. However, if you still want to get your CS go fix, then maybe try playing against bots for a while instead. This way you can still improve, but you don't really risk losing the hard-earned elo. And finally, perhaps the easiest tip of all, drink water. Keep some water on your desk and take a drink whenever you need. Just the simple act of having the water on your desk instead of another room will make an instantaneous influence of how hydrated you are and you stay throughout the gaming season. And that wraps up our guide to help you guys improve your mechanics and game sense in CSGO, but feel free to take the discussion to the comments. Let us know if you think that we missed anything, and tell us what you're taking away from this video to focus on. And don't forget to answer our question of the day. We hope that you guys had as much of a blast watching and learning from this video as we did making it. And remember, you can never stop learning and improving when it comes to CS and in life. And to help you with that, not only did we make this video, but we also have a ton of more for you guys to browse through. So what are you waiting for? 
Hit that subscribe button today for the regular videos to help you guys improve in all aspects of CS. And why not check out the ProGuides website to help you hire your own coach or go all in and watch a simple masterclass, which is a ProGuides exclusive. That's it for me for today's video and I hope I get to see you guys soon. And with that all being said, I hope you guys are staying healthy physically and mentally and you're having a wonderful day. If you guys ever need anybody to talk to, make sure you reach out to some people or the people in the comment section. The CSGO and ProGuides community is here for you. So good luck and have fun. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.